so close to Lake Ontario, you can see it from the arena's front door. Fans pouring in for another night to celebrate a sport and show their love for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Greetings, everyone, along with Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro. He'll be along in just a moment. I'm Mike Emery. We hit a team that's been away from home for a long time. It's been a successful trip, and it ends tonight. Is there a caution here? Well, there is, Doc. I think the focus, because when a team gets out on the road and they know they're going to be going home relatively soon, it's hard not to have the mind start to wonder. So for me, really, the mental preparation for this game here tonight, especially in the first period, can really make the decision on whether or not this is an outstanding trip or an average trip when you lose that last game on a long road trip. Minnesota's a veteran team. They have seen this scenario before. We have made mention of the mental side of the game at the end of a long road trip, but they have to show up physically as well. And I'm not just talking about the hitting part of the game. I'm talking skating, passing, shooting, doing all the things you need to do to win a game at the end of a long road trip. And now we turn to the last lines of defense, the goalies. Anderson's gotten the call to the goal crease for the Maple Leafs. This is a season you dream about if you're a goalie. Notice the numbers, and then let's just watch him play. Dubnik's the other union representative from the goalies for the Wild. He is not empty in shutouts, just hoping to build on the memory of the first one. As we get prepared for this one, no surprise, Zach Parisi is in the starting lineup out of the University of North Dakota, a 45-goal scorer in New Jersey. The opening face-off and starting in Toronto. Minnesota's coming off a loss. They need to get back to the basics. Toronto's up the wing, settling things. Shoots one. Got in the way of that one. Down the many steps we go to the ice level. Here's Ray Ferraro. Anderson's play this season has been so consistent. He's got an excellent win-loss record. He doesn't give up the bad goal when it's a crippling time for a team. He makes the big save when he has to. And as a result, the penalty killing's been really good. And they have enough confidence to be aggressive offensively to put enough numbers up on the board. OK, Ray, thank you. Slides it to the point to Brodeen. And a good save there. All a part of generating an offense. A little pass off from the goal. On to McCulloch. Save! Slid to Brodeen. Oh, and he is drilled! I'd like to see a little more of that from him. And icing will be called on this play. Polak's contributions often come without the puck. He has among the highest hit totals in the league. A punishing player to play against. A little under four minutes skated here in the first. Neither goalie has made any mistakes so far. Big drive! What a move on that one with the stick. Minnesota's in control through the neutral zone. Offside stops the clock. And they've won the faceoff. Back near the blue line to Kalusti. Great job on a cut pass. Up the wing still with possession. Wonderful chance was set up and the pass just goes wide. Smart recovery by Hunwick. Puck covered, whistle blown. Solid clean win. Snapped it off. Save! Huge hit. Possession's gone. Fires, and it's driven away. A whistle and a rest. Dubnik's going to be able to make that save all day. His positioning is perfect. It's not a difficult scoring chance. Clean win on the draw. Pass attempt to Stewart. Good work up front on that hit. And the possession taken up by Martin. Puck is thrown to Holland. He gains the zone. Took that right away. He covers, and a faceoff will follow.
Routine stop for the goaltender. The shooter's going to have to do a much better job challenging him. Defensive zone win. Minnesota's getting an attack ready in their own end. The loose puck taken by Corrado. Gains the zone. Gathered in by Stewart. Laid on to Coyle. Pitching it. He's alone. Breakaway. And he got that one. Terrific save. Terrific opportunity. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. A shot. Wonderful save. What a skill level there. Dubnik's athleticism is on display. That's an odd man rush against an excellent save. The Maple Leafs get the draw. Oh, and it's off the mark. I know what he's trying to do there, Doc, but you got to hit the net in this situation. Just a good rub out there. And it's turned aside. Enormous collision. He better be careful. It's dumped back in so the defense can come off and get a rest. Moving it to Van Riemsdyk. Into the attacking end. Good. They score! <laughs> Dyke's wrist shot was heavy and quick. Absolutely a great shot, Enzo, but the goaltender dropped down just a bit quick, left the top of the net exposed. So we played a while in this period, and finally a goal. I was hoping, Doc, that we were going to get that first one. Toronto's prevailed again on the faceoff of the neutral zone. And possession sees. He scores! <laughs> At all. He fired home that wrist shot. All that he had left, Enzo, was to try and make an unbelievable glove save. The effort was there, the results not. Just under six minutes left in the first. The Leafs have widened their lead. It's now two goals. Passing one off now to Pominville. Let's it go. Terrific shot, but a denial. Let's go, a wrist shot. The glove like lightning. Gets in. What will he do? Wolzak's trying to do way too much there with that offensive opportunity. Trying to go to Brodeen. Minnesota's in their own end, lugging it along. The puck is scooped up by Parisi. Snapping a pass to Komarov. Shot down the ice, and it's an icing. Wolzak's made his defensive play and play away from the puck a priority to improvement. He's really shown some as he's among the highest plus-minus leaders in the league. They win it. Took that wrist shot. Oh, what a chance there denied. The pad flexed out. With a wrister. Save! Carried from the defensive zone towards center. Oh, did he ever get mashed. He's in! Great save! And he'll cover. Anderson's always had excellent leg speed. Here he makes a great pad stop. Minnesota's got that win. Lots on that. The Scandella. We're in the last minute. Let's see if anything changes. The breakaway. Pitching this one to Tolusti. Directing that one to Eric Stahl. Looking to Tolusti. He's got it. McKinney shovel it out of there. Snaps a wrister. And that's one. First period has been played. The Maple Leafs are up two to nothing. 
And we turn to the shots on goal in the first. Ten for Toronto and seven for the Wild. Toronto's insurance goal has staked them to the two-goal lead that you would expect them to have. Here it is one more time. We'll return after these words. We are in the early stages of this game, about to begin the second period. Your thoughts on the first? Minnesota's lucky to still be in this game after the first period. They had turnover after turnover. I'm sure the coaches addressed that problem in the intermission. In all alone! Wonderful save! Carried out of his own end towards center. Gets in, and he'll look over his options. Terrific glove save! I've seen way too much of this pushing and shoving after whistles. I think the referees need to take control of this game. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. Nice face-off work. And now it's directed to Pommenville. He's in on an onside play. Napped by Borzak. Pass attempt to McCollum. Pass ahead. Collision. Puck is thrown to Pommenville. The puck taken hold up by Ryan Suter. Shifts to the backhand and shoots. Knocks it away with the stick. Carried to the corner by Koivu. Toronto's in their own end and on the move. To Pommenville. Let's a shot go. Outstanding save off a chance. And so there's an icing on this play. Anderson's going to have to be sharp if they keep giving up man advantage breaks. Another good stop. Over five minutes have transpired here in the second. Toronto's got the lead in this game, two to nothing. To Eric Stahl. Give that goalie credit for another. Pitching it to Lupo. Gets across, looks over his options. To the slot, point blank save. A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. I don't know how the shooter can do much more than that. The goaltender made an excellent save on a great bid for goal. Toronto's got another win. Got a piece of that one. Two sticks together, it goes to the offense. Possession taken up by Hunwick. Icing is the call. Well, guys, that looked from my vantage point like it was going to go in. When the puck changed directions, it became a very difficult save for the goalie. Toronto's got a defensive zone win. Save! Cadre's cut through the neutral zone. A shot! He scores! Three straight goals! Kadri's quick flick of the wrist put this puck in from the high slot. Dubnik's got an excellent glove hand, but his desperation attempt here is not enough. Up over the glove and in. Toronto's got an enormous lead, and it's in the second period. Hopefully, they don't go daydreaming now. Neutralized face-off win. Score by number 43. One-timer. He scores! Four unanswered goals. recognizes that he's got to get the puck up in the air, but he displays sweet hands as it goes just over the stick and lands flat on the ice.
The Leafs have scored yet again, and their lead gets bigger. They are doing very well on the shot board, too. Toronto's got it off the draw at center. Good intercept, moving it to Coyle. Passing one off now to Zucker. And the linesmen were watching very carefully. That is an offside. Time of the goal. Minnesota's got that one. Now what? Heads along the boards. Shot. Outstanding save. Difficult opportunity. Terrific stop from right in front of the net, but you got to find a way to put the puck in the net. Puck controlled by Light. Fantastic shutdown. Goes back deep for it. And the puck is seized by Light. Oh, that one hit someone on the way. Decides to go back and hope to go forward. Trying to go to Coyle. Scandella's down again. He has been corked numerous times. Breakaway. Outstanding stop. Shoots. Oh, another save. Picked up by the defense. Lugged ahead from the defensive zone. Nicely into the zone. Went to the backhand. Turned away. And here's Ray. The Maple Leafs have been up on their toes all night. They've been the more aggressive team, and as a result, they've controlled play. The H in hockey stands for hitting, Ray, and they have done a lot of it. Thanks for the report. A little over five minutes left to go in the period. You can see momentum in this game. It has shifted, and it is expanding even more. The advantage is four goals. Could be trouble near the line. What a hit. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. Snapping a pass to Greening. Gains the blue line. Minnesota's in control of the puck in their own end. Puck loose now picked up. Fired up the middle to Greening. Terrific determination by Ryan Suter. Pitching this one to Bozak. Goes to the backhand. Score! He's got his second! choice and he decided to go to the backhand and so I think it's the quick release that fools the goaltender he just gets a little piece of it not near enough to stop it goalie to the bench substitution made Minnesota's in a hole they've pulled their starter hopefully looking to change momentum the Maple Leafs have built an enormous lead and some wonderful confidence here the coach probably won't have to say much at the end of this second period. Toronto's got another face-off win. Of the season. Puck is picked up by Miko Koivu. Directing that one to Suter. Then he's all alone. Oh, that one went in off the defense. My, oh, my. Suter's quick read of the play allowed him to get that breakaway and score. Anderson's in the butterfly trying to take away the percentages, but he doesn't cover the net. Minnesota's got another face-off win. Taken over now by Coy. Shoots one. Great save. Scorches one. Save. We've played two periods here of a three-period game. The best part of the day is coming up. We turn now to the shots on goal at the end of two. 18 for the Maple Leafs and 18 for Minnesota. Minnesota's gotten some momentum and some encouragement by the scoring of this goal. 
Will it continue? We'll learn that when we come back after these words. Forty minutes down, at least twenty minutes to go. What are your thoughts so far? Toronto's up, Doc, here with a pretty solid lead, but they know that their opponent's going to come after them. So let's see how they play it. Will they be defensive first or look to add to the lead that they have? Shoots. Got in the way of that one, too. Pass comes to him from the crease. That's a good solid hit. He'll feel that one. Just when he thought he had some open ice, he ran into a stop sign. That's got to hurt. Toronto's getting a minor penalty here for interference. You got to play with controlled emotion. You can't run around and hit everybody, especially when they don't have the puck. There's always a start to your power play night, and this is number one. Toronto Good job on the draw. Milan to Parisi. Got his pad on that one. A shot. Score! A power play goal. Stahl's anticipation allowed him to get that puck on the backhand and put it in the net. And so just because you're in the butterfly doesn't mean you can give in to the shooter. You still have to move. He looked like he thought he was in perfect shape to make the stop and didn't have to move. Bad guess. Minnesota's collected another victory on the faceoff. Propelled, deflected off the blocker. Swatted further by Kadri. Up the wing, moving along. Got his stick on it. Chip to Miko Koivu. And the loose puck gathered in by Pominville. Not a free puck now. Looking to Miko Koivu. Brings a shot. Didn't get through. Brought a head towards center. The Leafs looking to head man up the wing. Just a backhand. Say! And he holds on! Along with a little pushing and shoving, there's always a little talking going on in those scrubs. Never satisfied. Never take your foot off the gas pedal. He's got two goals now. He'd better be thinking about getting number three. A tad over five minutes have passed. Toronto's yielded a goal, but they've got the advantage by three. Minnesota's lugging it along in their own end. It's an onside play. Delayed penalty call. And so now a penalty will be handed out. Hunwick's going to be boxed for two minutes, and the call is interference. Clearly an interference call, not allowing the player to get involved into the play. Anything you do once, you can do twice. Let's see if that applies to this particular power play. Minnesota's got it again. Blockered away. Dished off by the goalie and almost into trouble. Good work with the stick. And it's driven away again. This game has really started heating up, and it's carried over to after whistles. I don't think the shooter got much on this, but the goaltender makes an excellent stick stop on a relatively easy shot. Quick work on the faceoff. On to Suter. Moving along through the neutral zone. Onside. Breakaway chance! Solid work there by Zach Breezy. And possession reestablished by Light. Solid job of holding the pressure on. Good jab with the stick there. On the outside, a shot. The shot is off. I know what he's trying to do there, Doc, but you got to hit the net in this situation. Huck now possessed by Ryan Suter. Slid to Eric Stahl. The Maple Leafs have killed it all. Fires blocked. Decides to go back into his own end to get something started. Gets in, looks over his options here. Right on through, just above the crossbar. Now it's directed to Coyle. He's in! Oh, what a 
stop. Laid on to Komarov. One timer. Oh, what a break. That shot hit somebody. Gathered in by Ryan Suter. Skate kick out of the scrum. Propelled to Eric Stahl. Pass attempt to Coyle. Terrific determination by Komarov. Moved along and in. Loose puck captured by Spurgeon. Pitching it to Stewart. Breakaway! Oh, what a stop! Has it in his own end. Good standing poke check by Ryan Suter. One timer! He scores! Good airtime on this pass. Flat when it lands, and the shooter has a walk in. Toronto's goal has taken them to an even larger lead on a night that they have had the offense going. Third period of play. Chip to Zucker. Great opportunity, but the pass didn't connect. Bozak's got that puck again. He's got two already. Shoots. Great save in close. Wow, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. He's all alone. And he got that one. Gathered up again by Hunwick. To Bozak. Great bad stop. Loose puck regathered by Spurgeon. Oh, my. You know what, Doc? I'd like to see these teams play this way while they're playing, instead of after the whistles. The scrap is over, and now the penalties for sure. Maybe repairs. Yee, that was a mismatch. There's no use risking injury here. I don't know why they take the fight. The game's in their back pocket. Minnesota's power play has been strong. They have connected once. Let's see if they can make it twice on this power play. On to Eric Stahl. Hangs on to that one, and he'll see a face-off right near it. McCulloch's among the highest goal scorers in the league. He does his damage from in close to the net. He'll power his way in looking for rebounds. He's got a real knack for where the loose puck is. Solid clean win. He completed that pass, but it wasn't perfect. Oh, terrific save on a great chance. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. Tremendous pressure. Snaps it to Suter. Big shot from the point. Big hit. Possession gone. Could go left, could go right. Picked the wrong way. That's a big hit, boys. Good scrum here. Kicked out of the scrum. Can he clear? Tries to clear. And the penalty killers come up big again. It's cleared. Nice work by Ryan Suter. Puck is thrown well on the heels of that. It looks like we might have some war here. Well, when you act like that, you better be ready to defend yourself. Anderson's athleticism was tested on that wrist shot. That was an excellent scoring chance. Minnesota's quick on the draw. Good deflection try, but off the mark. Grab, great chance ahead. Guarded the goal again. Fires, not through. Oh, and what a tremendous jump. That's a marvelous save. Not a lot of room to score from in that area. Great save. Big drive. Off his helmet mask. Poke check. The Leafs are back even. Great play. And it is icing. And the linesmen are 
their pay as well. Toronto's team leans on him for offensive production. They need him to score on the power play. They need him to score five on five. And he's delivered all season long as he's among the highest points totals in the league. Clean win on the draw. Oh, what a great keep. Let's it go. Give that goalie credit for another. And he sends it to the net. Oh, deflected away. And the game is over. Terrific out. Toronto's got the victory here again tonight. The string continues. It doesn't seem to matter who the opponent is because this team is really executing effectively on their game. That's another win, and the streak continues. That's it for another great night at a hockey rink. For Eddie and Ray, Doc saying good evening, everyone.